Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another BBL preview. This is for the game between uh, two teams who went against every norm in their last game, Heat versus Thunder. And this game is going to be played at Karara Oval. So, interesting conditions at Queensland to house us. And we have some interesting inputs from Nikhil Bhai who is with us today. How are you doing Nikhil Bhai and how do you see this game panning out? Firstly, thank you, Ben Roshes. Thank you so much for your kind contributions to the revival of my BBL fantasy career. But uh, yeah, uh, having said that, uh, again, as you said, two teams. Uh, see, there are some teams that you, you're not always great at visualizing. I think hmm. Thunder, Brisbane Heat, and Melbourne Renegades are the three of them. It is pretty obvious why, because two of them are downright poor with their tactics. Idly yeah. is trying to match that because if you send Harry Nielsen to bat over Rashid Khan, I don't think it makes sense. Harry Nielsen can score 500 runs in a season and still you say that, okay, Rashid can still add value as well. Nielsen could be bet sakte So it's not against someone, but again, if you are very good at visualizing for some teams, please go ahead and do that. But uh, the BBL has been tricky. Thunder won by 10 wickets last game. Don't be surprised if they lose all, all 10 in this one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how BBL is. <laughs> yes, that exactly sums up what is possibilities for this game. And first up, let's look at what we have in terms of venue conditions. Yep. So, venue conditions as far as the oval here is concerned from whatever we see in the last set of games. The last game that happened here was an Australia versus West Indies game. And Pace dominated that one. Pace also dominated last year in the few BBL games that ended up happening here. And we did not see too, too many scores over 150 and a lot of wickets fell to Pace. We have seen Basley take a lot of wickets on this ground. Stekiri take a lot of wickets on this ground. Bartlett has troubled up front here. So, pace to win it and 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 Gurinder Sandhu also took a bag of wickets in his last game here. So, I think all the paces that you have on offer, all of them have done something of something worth note in the last one, one and a half year here. So, that should make it a little more interesting. Nikhil Bhai, do you see anything different happening or it's, the ace is going to be pace here? A pace should dominate, but I will not be surprised if Swepson takes up a Pfeiffer. Who knows? Again, the jokes about I don't think that will happen. But uh, I think we'll, we'll we'll stick to pace in the base team. And uh, then if you feel that, you know, if they can, if Heat can... The problem with Heat is the batting. There is no batting. So it is very inconsistent. So if they get a good score, I think they have the bowling to defend. But uh, again, it's, it's the batting just hasn't stepped up for them for a long time now. Not just now. Yes, and also keep in mind that this is the home ground for practically the whole of the Heath bowling. When you look at the base yeah. team, we'll, we'll show you practically everyone here. Nessa, Bartlett, Stekity, Swepson. It's home ground for many of them, at least in terms of the domestic cricket that they play. So, it will be yeah. interesting to see how it works out for them here. And let's look at what we have in the base team setup. So it's time to set the base team on the fan to play app and ensure that before you set your base team, you take part in this free entry contest. I'll ensure that I take up one more spot right now here. So ensure hey. that you also take part. <laughs> and now we'll set up our base team for this one. So in yeah. the keeping section, we have gone with Sam Billings. Again, Jimmy Pearson's home ground also. So too many home yeah. homeboys. But we are going with Sam Billings. And in the batting, we have gone with guys who generally play pace well. Alex Hales and Riley Rousseau. Nikhil Bhai, any temptations? Anyone else that you want to pick from here? Uh, I think Pearson, I'll be tempted if they bat first. Uh, because I feel sometimes he's very good. And I almost feel PSN is always batted with the tail. Or hmm. uh, it looks like a power such ki raad ekte, wo power such jayega toh hi main So hopefully hmm. he can shed that role because the kind of batting he'd have had, he should definitely get to bat. So agar aapko lagta hai ke Matt Geeks fir se runs nahi, fir se runs maarenge toh you can definitely go with Matt Geeks. But uh, I feel PSN could be a handy differential option because I don't think many will bring him. So agar aap nai ball se wicket expect kar rahe ho, jo girne chahiye, so Pearson becomes a handy option. Or coming to the batting section, you see there are 
plenty of decent options for thunder at least in the middle order oliver davis has had a few good knocks uh alex ross is showed handy handy form but the same can't be said for bryant uh, ross whitley so that is some that's a clear demarcation ke it is the bowlers and all rounders who are doing better for heat as compared to the slight batting that thunder has which is surprising to say given that thunder other team is got bowled out for 15 but it is how the bbl is so i think for now you will definitely go with the two safe options but yeah you have enough options to bank agar aapko lagta hai ki wickets jayenge to jaldi there are enough options to try in that in that regard yes very fair and in the all rounders we have gone michael nasser daniel sams and james basley while in the bowlers we've gone with five bowlers techity gurinder sandhu nathan mcandrew doggett and zavier bartlett one key point for you to keep in mind is basley is back in the squad in we feel like that on this kind of pitch and ground bartlett should not be going out but he's the one who's been interchanging slots with basley so that if bartlett does not play then you can probably opt for an extra batter or one of the spinners but for now we are assuming that based on conditions they should not drop Uh, Bartlett and hence we have picked him in the squad, and this is how the setup of our team currently looks like with captain as Daniel Sams and vice captain as Mark Steckity. Yeah, just uh, just to add to that point, see Bartlett is excellent with the new ball, uh, but as far as I remember, he did not bowl with the new ball last game. Uh, hmm. So that is something that I am very interested to see how they use him. Because whatever success and remember, Bartlett can also hit a few, and he did that in the last game as well. He did that, yeah. So. when the when your top order is not clicking every run you have to get from the lower order becomes very critical for you and i think that's where both marks takeday and zavier batlet are very handy they can hit a few long balls and because you know predominantly see length balls or good length balls being bowled in uh, venues like those which is good help for pacers so once they can contribute with the bat i'm not saying pick them for that thing but is some that you uh, you know try and work around so yeah let's see if they make any changes but yeah i think the base will probably be this for most of the guys which is why i think the game is very good for mini gels the point of mini gels is your differentials will be your batters hmm. because now we've taken all batters and we've taken two guys who bat in top 3 in rosso hmm. and halex sales so uh waisa aap dekhen to risk level thodi high hai uh, it may not be in terms of options but you may have only one or two player who is different from each other in a small league if you are playing so i think hmm. in that regard which is why i said small league khelenge to shayad ek do player pe game aa jayegi wo risky hai par agar aapke liye aap waisa khelte ho to please go ahead and do that i think mini gels and uh, the risk will be high what do you think yes i think the risk will be high but i also think like while nikhil bhai said you should not pick bartlett for his batting I think Heat should pick Bartlett for his batting with the kind of batting yeah, that they have done this year. So I think uh, he'll be a good choice with a bat for them. And uh, yes, that wraps up this section for us. Now let's hear what we think the Grand League option for this one. Will be. So, sir, over to you. Tell us your two Grand League options. So. <laughs> Uh, I'll go with the two names that we've already discussed once in this video: uh, James Basley and Sandhu Sab. Uh, Basley, because again, very good at the venue, coming back into the side. Just say, as I said, for bent washes as well. Whoever is coming back into the setup for teams, they are playing very key roles. They are bowling key overs. Now, Nasser has taken a lot of wickets at times with the new ball, but if Basley is used well, he's also bowling in the power search. So uh, that is where. you can make the most of taking somebody like uh, basley and sandhu sab did not bowl a lot of overs last game if he's bowling first i'll be very tempted i'll be very tempted to take uh, sandhu sab right very interesting but i think the data backs his calls a lot but uh, you might not see the same in my calls i'm going with alex ross and matthew renshaw now Matthew Renshaw has a decent record on this ground, but I feel like the thing that my I I feel like the kind of pitches that he's played on till now have been slightly sticky, not really helped him too much. But here, this is the kind of track that is generally assisting batters a little bit more once you are able to settle in. So if we are visualizing early wickets are going to fall, it means that these middle order guys can really come into the game. 
So that is my value proposition with picking Renshaw and Ross. Let's see how it goes. Should be interesting. Sir, you're on mute. Yes, very fair call. Very fair call. So that is about it as far as this game is concerned. We hope you have a good one. <laughs> one point for you to keep in mind is that because I guess this is the first game that's going to be happening on this ground in this season. It's better that you have a look at the conditions and then scale up accordingly in the next set of games because we have seen while across ground it's been similar to how the T20 World Cup pitch behavior has been. Here there were no games, so it'll, you'll have to wait and watch a little bit before you scale up based on conditions. And we hope that all of you have a good game and do tell us which bowler you think will be the three plus wicket taker in this one. All the good luck.